In today's video, we're turning this into this. To do so, all you will need is a can of this Plasti Dip, got it at Home Depot. You will also need some newspaper. You can also guess where I grabbed this for free on the way out of Home Depot. Some painter's tape, and then a small piece of plastic, toothpick, something like that. If you have those things, you're ready to go. All right, first things first, when Plasti Dipping the emblems of your car is actually not spraying anything or taping anything, but you have to clean it first. You wanna make sure that the Plasti Dip adheres well to the emblem. So I sprayed some paper towel with some simple household cleaner, gave it a good wipe down, and then when it was all good and clean, I took my blue painter's tape and made a simple outline around the emblem. It doesn't need to be big, just enough so you can get a clean, clear spray. Once you've created that outline with the blue painter's tape, you then essentially can create another outline with your Home Depot ads, your newspaper. And this is just simply to protect your car from overspray. Nothing too complicated here. Once you've cleaned it, you've created an outline with painter's tape and newspaper. You're ready to take out your Plasti Dip and start the painting process. I'll just tell you exactly what the can says. Shake vigorously for a full minute. You can see in the video, I'm doing that. Probably more like 45 seconds, but I took that pretty seriously. Hold six to 10 inches away from surface area. Move back and forth slightly overlapping each stroke. Apply heavy enough to produce an even wet appearance. So far, so good. It says allow 30 minutes in between coats. I think that's pretty generous. I did about 20, maybe 15 on coat two or three. Apply as many coats as you desire, and then it says between three or four. As you can see from the video, I come back and recoat, I believe four times. Enough time for the camera to fall down and the sun to change, and I think I had to move the car at one point. It then tells you to allow four hours for drying, and then here's the fun part, you actually get to take off the Plasti Dip, and I don't know if you've heard about Plasti Dip, and specifically this part, but taking it off is very satisfying. So as you can see, after I've taken off all the blue tape and my newspaper, you can already probably see what's gonna happen here. As you peel off the Plasti Dip, it comes right off of your metal hood, but stays stuck to your car's emblem. I'm not a scientist, I don't know why this works, but it does, and it's really great and cool, and I love this product. I picked a little bit harder of a logo here. Toyota has a lot of small, cracks and crevices to get into. When you're taking off the middle and you can't just use your fingernail, find a small piece of plastic, a toothpick. I think I even used a pen here. That wasn't the best solution. But as you can see from the video, and I am fast forwarding it, but it didn't take that long, probably a total of five minutes to peel off all the plastic dip, even with these small to reach, small to reach, hard to reach places. <laughs> and just like that, you have a now flat black coated Plasti Dip emblem for your Toyota. You can do this on any external plastic chrome piece. It especially looks great on a white car. I've done that in the past as well. And that is all. Um, hopefully that was an easy enough description of how to Plasti Dip the emblems of your car. It's cheap and the product is really awesome. Very versatile, you can use it on a lot. And I didn't mention this in the video, but you can take it off. The same way it came off the car, you can actually start peeling on the emblem and take it right off as well, and there's no marks afterwards. Pretty crazy how this stuff works, but if you want a can, the link is in the description. And yeah, go ahead and like this video if it was helpful. Subscribe if it was really, really helpful. And that's all. Until next time, see you later.